Full reactions are available on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Made in Abyss, Episode 12, The True Nature of the Curse, and press play when I press play when the timer reaches zero now. If anyone's seeing that title and not thinking, what? <laughs> Let's go! I don't know why you'd still be watching at this point. Be that as it may, in any case. <laughs> like, it's really using that kind of language a lot, huh? So much for that one. I guess it's a status symbol, but it seems kind of silly to always wear something as clunky as a whistle when there's no practical purpose. Ooh. That's kind of fucked up, the, the remains of you going down into this hell pit. Were they all born within the abyss? Wonder if they're connected to Rico in some way. In that factor, he's awake. Good. Hey, call that a win for the day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it's going to be something more, but kids are pretty resilient. I don't think you'd cause talk about curses so uh candidly or callously with given where you are. I wonder if there's a reason they don't go down with considerable more arms and technology. There's only one episode left after this. I wonder if there's some relic out there that can, you know, greatly... If you've played Oblivion, I wonder if the boots of spring Heel Jack are a thing in this world. I wonder if there's a relic that can greatly lower or, you know, just completely nullify the effects of a fall, cons considering we've seen one that can apparently stop time. Which I wonder if it'll be important again now that I think of it. Uh, such that someone could just hop down to the bottom of the abyss, like, fast track the whole thing as quickly as possible. But, obviously, can't get back up. I tell you, the, you... <laughs> 
It's weird to consider this because we're not dealing with a video game, but the overworld map of the Abyss is one of the coolest I've ever seen. Now let's see if we've got another big difference here. All the same so far, just recap. Yeah, <laughs> it's just gross, isn't it? Don't hurt her. Well, I mean, she's very clearly initiating an attack. It's just not a dangerous one. They're close in age? Okay. Still gross as heck, though. Really? Is this common to hollows or uh regular hollows or whatever was going on with you? Uh or is it just MIDI? Uh, now I want to know even more! It doesn't look great, but... You know... A spoonful of sugar... <laughs> um, how it looks. Really? And she's truly surprised, too! Not much of a cook, huh? She'll die! <laughs> oh! I'm sorry. Until I showed up. Dude, stop doing this! Ooh. 
like a bubble or in, in appearance anyway. Plastic? Is it magic? Uh, you might want to take off the pokey bits. <laughs> Explain. All right, so it's a visual representative. How do you get out? You're thinking about it the wrong way, aren't you? Trying to go up. You went through. I like that little visual representation with the spikes on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, they, there's been one place they've been to that's probably... <laughs> I mean, that's not a <laughs> the the answer he was looking for, but it was an explanation nonetheless. Then we're gonna finally learn a bit about this. Please, he doesn't listen to a damn thing you say. Oh no, this is bad. Oh no. She think it when she was a baby? Is she like mind melding with Mitty? Perhaps? Oh.
<laughs> That's just gross. Oh, yeah, I mean, is that like goop, the visual representation of the abyss? Same as what we just got in the in the literal sense, more in a metaphorical sense. The force field. Oh, like, cool. Yeah. Technology, baby. Who's using that? <laughs> Excuse me, dickhead. You what did you well, know? We didn't see you, but I assume you agreed to the whole doing exactly as she says thing. Yeah, right. Are you going to learn to fight this thing? Heck yeah. yeah he's already d not done that. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, like, you gotta do it. You didn't completely commit to it? Okay, that was commitment, okay. The face thing? Yeah, and all that intelligence from before is meaningless to it. Man, this loser Black Whistle just doing nothing. You got plenty of a window of opportunity, too. He better at least be running. It'd be a bitch-ass move to run away from a kid in danger. But at least it'd be action. No! I guess it's not a huge deal but if you do that, but... Oh, did she not know about that? <laughs> She's like, uh, you did not tell me you had a laser. <laughs> this could have been important information. And now you've got a time limit to defeating the thing. Does she recognize that move? Because that's not just shock and awe, I don't think. You let go, you fool. It's not dead. It's it's underwater. I'm guessing. Oh, so it's a, it, the spines are like a full part of its body and it will need to grow them back to be able to be a threat again. You're an asshole, Reg.
I get that, but you made an agreement and you've ignored it like three times now. Tell her you're gonna pass out. Stop touching her! Oh, gosh. She's close to you. You can't do it yourself. You can't put her out of her misery. Oh, it's just like Rico. Why did you end up on your own completely? Other than Mitty. No! No! I can't deal with there just being one more episode! This is an amazing episode, but... I just have this impending sense of dread, you know? How could I not? I don't think we got the Black Whistle's name, which it's okay if we didn't, if he's not an important character, but... It'd be nice to have gotten something like, yeah, I, I, I'm... I'm John. <laughs> Wow, they really did keep Rico knocked out for a while. Which I guess in a manga sense wouldn't have been that long, but for a 13 episode season, it's a massive part of the show. She's slept a lot longer than the dude who has a move who puts him to sleep. Ah! What's the next one called? Let's see. The Challengers. Okay. I'm just... Oh. Functionally, Nanachi is a very similar character to Ozen. You know, just the, the vastly more experienced type character who sort of is always leading the way. Uh, but both of them I like for their mentor roles that they bring. Would actually be nice to see them in a scene together. Next time.